What's going on YouTube, just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be creating the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 8 from the Need for Speed Underground 2 loading screen. So this is another requested build and I'm loving some of the ideas that you guys are coming up with at the moment, I'm just finding the time to roll them out and get the videos made. So big props to Mayor DJ for suggesting this one, I believe this is the second one that this guy's suggested and i absolutely love the idea the other one was the supra and now this one for need for speed 2 so as you can see this is the sultan rs so i will be doing limited amounts i think in ls customs because i'm in story mode and story mode does not have bennies so i'm gonna to have to use what i can in ls customs and if i think that there is something that's that is missing i'm gonna go into the mod menu and uh, try and apply it that way but as it stands it looks pretty straightforward it doesn't look like it's going to be anything crazy so hopefully we can get everything we need in ls customs but obviously you guys are going to have to go to uh, benny's in online anyway to uh, get the sultan rs upgraded to what it is because obviously you just have to grab the original sultan take it into benny's pay for the upgrade bob's your uncle fanny's your aunt and you'll have the rs so but anyway this is for ls customs at the moment and if i need any specific benny's mods i'll have to do that in my mod menu so with that being said guys let's crack on with this build with 100 percent body armor then we're gonna go to the brakes and grab the race brakes for the bumper front bumper we're gonna go with this c1 loop bumper then for the rear bumper we're gonna go for this rs evolved rear bumper so then we do get the roll cage option in ls customs we're gonna go with we're going to go with the street half cage because obviously the Need Speed Underground 2 was street races. So we're going to go with that. For the engine, we're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade. The exhaust, as you can see, they do protrude from the side. I don't know why it's just sent me around the back. Uh, but anyway, all the other exhaust options for the RS are, are really poo. So we're going to stay stock for that anyways. So then we've got the fender option as well. I don't think we're going to change this to be fair unless we're going to flare them out a little bit more. Uh, but I don't think we need to. And now what we're going to do, we're going to go with the wide body arch extensions. So then we've got the grill option, and we're going to go and grab the monster intercooler. Then for the hood, we're going to go for this vented hood. For the lights, we're going to get the Xeon headlights. Then we've got a neon kit, front, back and sides. And for the colour, we're going to go with golden shower. For the respray, we're going to go primary colour and into metallic. And you will go and purchase this bright green. And same for the secondary colour, we're going to go into metallic and purchase bright green. So then we do get a roof option. We are going to go with, hopefully a roof scoop oh man we don't get a roof scoop that sucks ass so because of that we're going to have to stay stock for the roof for the side skirts we're going to stay stock also for the spoiler we're going to go with this muscle killer wing suspension we're going to get the competition suspension transmission we're going to get the super transmission and the turbo tuner then we're going to move on to the wheels wheel type and i think we're going to go sport for this and i stand correct we're not going to go chrome we're going to go with high end and you want to go and find these chromatic z rims once you purchase them, you want to go and make sure that they're in alloy. And while you're here, you might as well purchase the bulletproof tyres. And to finish off the build within LS Customs, we're going to go windows and purchase the Loke Smoke window tint. There is a couple of more steps that we need to take. Hopefully I can find them in the mod menu. Uh, but we're going to get the light smoke purchased, get outside of LS Customs onto the street. And as you can see, man, this car is looking amazing. I, I, I completely forget how awesome this Sultan RS looks, man. <laughs> looks so good really cool i'm loving the way it's looking at the moment but anyway let's get into the mod menu and we're going to go to vehicle options and menu customs bennies and the first thing 100 percent we need is the livery and the livery we're going to go for is going to be this black classic rs stripe i know it's not the color that we need we kind of need it to be like a lime green um unfortunately we can't get that we do have two options for this we've got the black classic Irish stripe like I've already said and then we've got this blue power stripe which is also very similar to what we need but completely the wrong color um, but same goes for this one as well completely the wrong color and personally I think black looks a lot better with green <laughs> than what blue does um, you could go blue if you really wanted to go with that go with that but personally even though this is slightly a better design um, the color really puts me off and I'd much rather have a livery on the side than not have one at all so I suppose it's up to you guys whether you want to go with the blue power stripe which is fine it, it, it'll work fine I just don't like blue with a green that's just a personal opinion um, or you can go with a black classic RS stripe which is the one I'm going to go with purely because black looks better next to green than what blue does um, if we could get a lime green one 
that would be the one all day long and it would be perfect but we can't unfortunately so this is gonna have to do and then we are going to go to the seats and we are going to change the seats up hopefully get some nice um racing seats in there there we go Will we go with the ones with the green straps yeah baby we're gonna go with the ballistic fiber track seats because then we get the red harnesses to go with one more thing i was hoping to get was a sun strip and we can yes baby so we are going to need a sun strip on this as well um the sun strip on the car it has writing on it um, but obviously we can't get writing on this one so a plain sun strip will just have to do so that is it my dudes that is the build on the mitsubishi lancer evo 8 from the need for speed underground 2 loading screen now i think this car looks awesome i think it's the Sonic RS is such an amazing car and I remember so many years ago now this was just dropped with, with the Banshee 900R as a surprise January appearance in GTA Online. It just came out of nowhere, no announcement and it was that was just amazing. It was just an awesome thing to come into online and it was even better that it was a surprise from Rockstar. And um, yeah man, you, with all the new cars that come out you just forget about these ones in my opinion. People just forget about Banshee 900R, the Sultan RS, just how good they are, and these were the original Benny's vehicles. And yeah, man, coming back and creating this build, you can realize and appreciate how cool the Sultan RS actually is. And um, I think it actually plays a really, really good part in trying to be <laughs> the green Evo 8 from um, the Need for Speed Underground 2 loading screen. Like I said, this was suggested to me by a subscriber, and um, I thought it was an awesome idea, so I had to build it, man. And I think the only thing that lets this build down is the stripe on the side. If that stripe was lime green, this would be perfect for me. So if any of you guys have got any ideas for builds that I could create and you'd like to see it in a video, make sure you hit me up in the comments down below and let me know about it. And if I think it's an awesome idea, then I'll look into it and uh, probably make it, to be fair. And also, if you like this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And until next time, I'm out. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.